Hey friends all over the world, Dr. Kenan here. I know it's been a little minute since I've been on here. We've been so busy having meetings. I mean, we've had literally, this is 11 meetings. Uh, since Monday, we've had 11 meetings nonstop. We're going morning and night. And um, I want to tell you about something a dear brother in my, my church shared with me. And I hope you'll share this. Dear brother shared it with me. And he said, Pastor, come here. I said, yeah. He said, let me show you something. Apparently, NASA has a, a satellite that allows them to track fires all over the globe, not just the United States, but anywhere in the world. They can look on the globe and uh, they, can they can track fires that are spreading all over the place. And so... He showed me this map of the fires spreading uh, and the little the little red dots all over the map, all over the place. Just little red dots everywhere. Some in Africa, you can see them in the state of Florida. You can see them in um, Europe. You could see them on the west coast of the United States. You can see them all over the place. And this is a word that I really want you to share with everybody you know. You know, I told you that um, in 2020, March 2020, I shared a word about COVID that God gave me about literally a dragon coming out of the ocean. And God showed me that this was COVID-19. It was like a serpent. And it was, it was heading toward America. It was coming out of the ocean. And God told me all the revelation about uh, COVID coming from the Marine Kingdom and all of that stuff. And I'm not going to go back there for time. And of course, I, I shared some of the other uh, messages that God gave me uh, uh, about things that were coming up, um, all, you know, things that were happening. And so here it is. God spoke to me. And he told me that there was an awakening coming. Which, if I'm honest, it's already began. It already begun. And and many people, including those, some in my church, were sharing that this is like a fire spreading. It's like a fire spreading. And these fires may look small. They, they're going to look like little small fires, little small things. And it was confirmation when, when the brother shared it with me because... Um, my wife had already come to me and, and the Lord gave her a word and he gave some other people in my church a word and he's giving people words all over the United States. But I just want to tell you that the fire is spreading. And the devil has tried to extinguish the church. He's tried to put out our fire. He has tried to muzzle and muffle the flames so that they will no longer have the efficacy and spread. But I prophesy, you see, anything the devil does is a counterfeit and a cheap imitation. So that means if there's a counterfeit, there must be a real thing. And here's the real thing. The real thing is not a, a pandemic. That's not the real thing. The real thing is that there is coming a viral spread of the fire and glory of God, and it's touching the earth. It's touching our churches. Some of you have been fighting it. You're trying to fight the fire. You're trying to be a firefighter. Don't be a firefighter. You did, you're, not, you're not equipped for that. I'm not talking about physical. I'm talking about spiritually. Some of you are trying to be spiritual firefighters. You're trying to fight the fire. You don't want to be. You're like, no, I don't want to be a part of that. Well, what about this? What about that? I don't want to go to gatherings because I might get sick, blah, 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 blah. Let me tell you something. The fire of God is what you need. And I'm not trying to, we're not trying to embellish anything. We're not trying to, to, to draw attention to ourselves. But I'm telling you right now, something is happening in the earth. And if you don't sense it or feel it or see it, you need to check your pulse. Somebody needs to admit you into the ER. I'm not joking. If you can't sense what God's doing right now, 
Put your popcorn down. for Turn the Netflix off for one day. You can afford it. You can afford to not watch TV one day. It's not going to kill you. It's not going to kill you. And pay attention, friends, to what God is doing now. Before this year is out, pay attention to what God is doing. And say, God, I refuse to be a firefighter. I refuse to be a person who snuffs out what God is trying to do. And I'm telling you, it's hitting everywhere. I don't care. I don't care where you are. You can't run from this. Because this is necessary for the times in which we live. Because the enemy is trying to release something that is so diabolical and so insidious that the average religious Christian doesn't have a clue what's going on. They're thinking about what flavor of coffee they're going to drink at church. They're thinking about what they're going to do after services. Of, you know what, should I go to the beach today? Should I walk my dog? Should I get a brisk jog? I'm telling you what many of you have been praying for. This great awakening, this global awakening that I prophesied in a viral video that I did several months ago. I prophesied a global awakening was happening. It's happening. It's happening. You can't do anything about it. Either. Either. You cooperate with the fire or you resist it. But there's no there's no in between. There's no in between. Look at what's happening all around us. You see, the first COVID thing that happened in 2020, the church was nowhere near prepared for. The church was nowhere near prepared for that. We were so seeker friendly and we were so comfortable and compromised and lazy and arrogant that we were not prepared when this thing hit. And many were the casualties of a spiritual war. God is saying, um, this is a second win for the body of church, Christ. We are in a second win. The Lord is pouring out a second win on the body of Christ. And that wind is igniting the flames. Well, who do you think you are? You just think you're... Nah, I'm just trying to say yes and be obedient to what God is saying. That's it. I just know that I can't fight it. I can't fight this. I know I can't fight it. You can't fight it. So here we are, we're in, we're in Florida. Many of you know where we are. Come here, go somewhere else. I don't care where you go. You know, I'm at a stage in my life where, you know, I used to be the kind of pastor, try to get people, you know, to pump and prime them and, and then come on, man, just come to church, come to this. Uh, I would beg people, it was so pathetic, honestly. Oh, come to church and, and then, and, and yeah, what well, we're, you know, come on and this and that, you know what? No more. I don't have time for that anymore. I don't, I don't even want people to come if they don't want what's real. I don't need any more people to take up seats. You know, if you're not going to, if you, if you're not going to be serious about God, you should give your seat to somebody else who will be serious about God. I mean, that's where I am. I'm not trying to be rude or disrespectful. I'm not trying to be rude or disrespectful. I'm not trying to be, you know, uncompassionate. But I'm telling you, friends, God is doing something. Don't fight it. And a lot of you can't afford to fight it anyway. Look, you can't afford to fight it. 
you, if you're hanging on by a, by a, a wing and a prayer, why are you sitting there? And for all these trolls and bots, you're going to be destroyed coming on my feed. I'm telling you, I'm not playing around. I'm not playing around. If you know, some of you know for a fact that you're just alive by the mercy of God and you're praying, God, Lord, give me just enough strength to get through another day. Why in the world are you sitting there trying to be comfortable? You've been praying, God, save my children, save my husband, save my wife. Why are you sitting there being comfortable, pretending like you have options? Why? Why? You're saying, God, I need a miracle. I'm going through depression. So why are you sitting there comfortable? Get up off your blessed assurance. And do whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Chris is talking about, well, I don't want to be in service too long. I, I, just, I just got stuff to do. What do you have to do? Let's be honest. What do you have to do, really? What do you have to do that's more important than God? It's time for a move of the Spirit of God. It's time for the glory of the Lord to hit this planet in waves that we have never seen in our lifetime, and I'm telling you, miracles, signs, and wonders are happening. You ought to share this with everybody you know. Everybody you know. Somebody have may, may never have stepped foot in the church, but this message is for you. It's for you. It's for you. No more games. You know, I just, let me see if I, let me see what I got going on. Let me see what I got going on. Let me, let me, let me see what I got going on. Yeah, but I thought you told me that your child was, was in a desperate situation. So why are you being so comfortable? America is the only place on the planet where we have this much comfort. My God, people will be going through a crisis. People will be going through a, a, a crisis. People will be going through the crisis of their lives and will be sitting there snug. Sitting snug. Well, let me see. Let me see what I'm going to do today. I don't know. You ought to, you ought to run to the nearest Church, as long as it's a Bible-believing church, I don't care where it is, as long as it's a Bible-believing church and you ought to tie yourself to the front door, they should peel you off of the front door of the church. They should have to kick you out of the church building every day. People, the, the security staff should, should have to ask you to leave. That's how much, that's how much it's going to take well, no, but you know, we're, we're under grace and God knows my heart. Baloney. I'll say it. I don't care. I, baloney. He knows your heart. He also knows your laziness, knows your pride and your arrogance. I'm telling you, friends, I'm not trying to beat you up. I'm sorry. I'm passionate about this. God told me that the fire is spreading. The fire is spreading and it is becoming an unstoppable inferno of glory. An unstoppable inferno of the glory of God. An unstoppable, I'll say it one more time, 
inferno of the glory of God. What are you willing to do? How far are you willing to go? How much are you willing to humble yourself? Even those watching, let me tell you something, the fire is spreading so strong. You're feeling the glory in your room right now. The glory is hitting your room right now. The power of God is invading your room right now. In the name of Jesus. The power of God. Somebody's being healed in your body right now. You're being healed in your body right as I speak. That sickness, that disease, that oppression is lifting off of you. As I speak, in the name of Jesus, the fire of God, the fire of God is covering the very atmosphere that you're in. And the glory of the Lord is covering the earth as the waters cover the sea. Fan the flames. We're here in Tampa. We're here in Tampa. Come. 